Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a function f at 5. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and use cross multiplication. Let's go ahead and do that. Multiply x by 3 f of x, 3 x f of x minus 4 x equals 2 times f of x minus 20. That comes from the original equation, right? Now let's go ahead and put the terms that has f of x in them on the same side and everything else on the other side. So 3 times x times f of x minus 2 f of x equals 4x minus 20. So I'm going to go ahead and present two methods and then show you a graph at the end. Okay. Let's go ahead and factor out f of x. That gives us 3x minus 2 inside the parentheses, and that equals 4x minus 20. Great. Now at this point, we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3x minus 2 to isolate f of x because remember we're trying to solve for f of 5 so if we can find f of x then we can replace x with 5 to find f of 5. Okay great let's go ahead and do that so f of x becomes 4x minus 20 divided by 3x minus 2 and this is a rational function isn't it? Okay so how do you find f of 5 from here? The answer is easy you replace x with 5. If you do it, you're going to get 4 times 5 minus 20 divided by 3 times 5 minus 2, which is 0 divided by 13, which is equal to 0. So to keep a long story short, f of 5 equals 0. And that's what we were looking for, right? So we got it. Great. So that is the first method. And let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So for our second method, let me rewrite the original problem x equals 2 f of x minus 20 divided by 3 times f of x minus 4. Remember, our goal is to find f of 5. So instead of trying to solve for f of x, which obviously is less reasonable, why don't we just replace x with 5 everywhere? Because we're trying to find f of 5, so it would make sense, right? So set x equal to 5 everywhere. So we get 5 equals 2 f of 5 minus 20 divided by 3 f of 5 minus 4. Now let's go ahead and set f of y equal to y. And you probably know y, right? We get 5 equals 2y minus 20 divided by 3y minus 4. Now what is my goal? My goal is to solve for y. So let's go ahead and do it. This is a simple equation, right? So cross multiply 15y minus 20 equals 2y minus 20. Awesome. So we can go ahead and do the following. Add 20 to both sides. That's going to cancel out. Cancel out the y. You get 15 equals 2. Right? No, no. That's not true. You can't do that. You can't do... You can't cancel out the 15. Um, you can't cancel out the y because we can't divide both sides by y. What's the reason for that? The reason is... The reason is if you do that, that means you're basically you know, dividing both sides by y, but y is equal to 0. Why? Y, too many y's. So bring the 2y over, you get the following, 15y minus 2y equals 0. And this just means that 13y equals 0, which means y is equal to 0. So you couldn't divide both sides by y. That's how they prove you know, some stuff that is not actually true. So f of 5 we were looking for and we set it equal to y therefore f of 5 is equal to 0 and that is the answer but let's go ahead and take a look at the graph so what kind of function are we looking at f of x is 4x minus 20 divided by 3x minus 2 it's a rational function which has a horizontal asymptote and a vertical asymptote so on and so forth but at 5 notice that it has an x-intercept therefore f of 5 is equal to 0 as we already demonstrated. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.